What's up YouTube, Mike here with a quick iMovie tip for iOS. Now iMovie is a great app for doing video editing, but it is still limited in what it can do. And unfortunately, one of the glaring limitations of iMovie for iOS is the inability to do picture in picture with a photograph. And what I mean by that is if you're doing a technology review, for instance, and I have product A, I want to put a little picture of it up to the right or left of me while I'm talking and talking about said product. You can't do that with iOS. You can do it with a video, and let me show you what I'm talking about exactly, but you're unable to do it with a picture, which is kind of a dumb limitation if you ask me, but um, I'm going to show you a workaround for that that I actually discovered by accident just trying to do this my very this very thing. So let me uh, just open up a video real quick. I'll drop one in here to show you what I'm talking about. So for instance, I have this video here, and if I want to throw something up where I'm pointing there, um, I can do that with a video, but if I want to do it with a photograph, it won't let me. So let me pick photos and I can open up any photo here and if I hold on it it just it won't let me do it. It gives me no options. It just drops it to the front. Whereas if I go to a any video, I'll show you when you when I tap the video it gives me options. So I can insert it, I can hit play, or I can do picture in picture. And when I do picture in picture, it drops it here and it gives me the option to uh, move it around make it bigger, make it smaller, you name it, but it gives me that option. Whereas with um, a photograph, it won't allow me to do that. So let me show you a quick workaround, and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just start a new project, just keep it simple, go over to photos on the bottom right, and I pick the picture that I want to use. So if I want to use this guy right here, I drop him in here, and then I tap on it, and so however long I think that I want to talk about this is how long I'll make this. So we'll go up to, I don't know, 20 seconds. And then you want to disable the Ken Burns effect or it'll look kind of messed up. And then you got to pinch to make it uh, essentially show the whole picture what you want to show. So there, there's what I want. So now all I do is hit done. And then you want to save this to your camera roll. So I'm just going to do 360p to make this quick. And when I do this, of course, it's going to go straight to my camera roll, and it's going to be the re most recent video in there. So when I go back to this guy, I'll hit Edit, and I'll say I want to drop him right here where I was pointing. I just go to Video, which I'm already there, and Recently Added. And the last thing I did was this guy. So now when I click on it, it gives me options. So I hit Picture in Picture. And then when I slide it a minute, I can uh, highlight it and I can move it around. So if I want to move over, over here, for instance, and then you just tap anywhere else to make it done, and there it is. So there's a little effect I get. Let me get to where I'm pointing. Point, it pops up there, and then I can keep talking about it. But now that's just an example, but that is a real quick iOS for, or I say real quick iMovie tip for iOS. Like I said, this is a great app. It's just a little limited in features, and hopefully Apple will fix this in a future update. But in the meantime, if you want to use photographs for picture-in-picture, picture, just do what I just showed you. It's pretty simple, it's not too painful, and it works well. So hopefully that video helped you out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. Thanks.